I got to work in the morning, uh, 10 o'clock, uh, phone call uh, and an email. There was no sign that anything was coming. Uh, I was as busy as I would have been on any other day. We were kind of joking about it nervously, but in the back of my mind, it's like, it's, it's a distinct possibility. I mean, everybody knew layoffs were coming. The job said, we got easily before were a little harder to come by. You just could feel it coming down. You could just feel everyone's assholes just tightening up. And I got this little, you know, beep on my phone. And the HR person came in with her hatchet and closed my door. They're like, yeah, I'm sorry, it's, it's time. Yep, we're letting you go. We can't keep you. This isn't going to work out. It's not you, it's not your work. And I was so pissed because I didn't see it coming. It was a tough day. If I wouldn't have seen the writing on the wall, reality for me would have been that I had to leave the country. All I could eke out was, do you know where I could find a box? <laughs> I think deep down, it was sort of a liberating feeling. Having left the ad agency world just gave me time to do other stuff in my life. The day that I walked out, I walked into my own company. I recognized something had changed in me. I think a lot of people have this list of, oh, if I could only do this. Because I had so much time, I was able to take the painting really pretty seriously. You've got time to plan your daughter's wedding. You uh, finally see your kids again. You eat three meals a day. I got laid off and I took my clothes off, posed nude in a bearskin rug, and started a website called MailCopyRighter.com. I got laid off and I changed my gender. I got laid off and I started doing my life's work. My name is Curtis Glade and I'm a documentary filmmaker. My name is Bob Weeks and I am a coffee roaster. I'm a holistic health counselor and yoga instructor. My name's Kevin Kearns and I'm an artist. I got laid off and I'm finally doing something that I think matters.